Hello everybody, uh, this is Narendra Kumar from Narendra Academy and today we'll do our second and third equation. The last lesson we did the first equation A uniform acceleration, uniform acceleration. The one value is rate of change of velocity. This is the change of velocity in t seconds. So in one second rate is v minus u by t we got. So A is equal to v minus u by t we can even say v is equal to this implies v is equal to u plus a t. Final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus a t. Now we are going to now my question I'll ask you a question what is s? s means displacement not distance but displacement the same concept. So what is s? Okay when the initial velocity is u when the final velocity is v when the acceleration is a okay rate of change of velocity is a then how much is the what is the equation for s? What is the equation for S? Now listen, this is a very interesting concept, how we derive this. This is A, point, point A and point B. The body is every second, it is increasing its velocity. And in T seconds, T seconds, it went from U to V. Now let us bring in our earlier concept of average velocity average velocity average velocity so it started with u it increased increased and went to v because it uniformly increased we can say that the average velocity is u plus v by 2 average velocity this is the crucial linking point for our derivation of s is equal to ut plus half at square u plus v by 2 so it when if it say started at 10 and reached let's say 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 seconds. So, 50 minus 10 by 8, 40 by 8 is equal to 5, is equal to A. A is 5 meters per second per second. So, it started with 10, it became 15, it became 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 and 50. This is the scenario, right? I am giving one example. What I'm saying is whether he goes from 10 to 50, whether he goes from 10 to 50 or he goes at, at 10 plus 50 by 2 is equal to 30, whether he goes 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 or he goes at only 30, see carefully, he goes at only 30, they will reach at the same time. Suppose a person started here, started from 10 meters per second and went on increasing like this and reached here. At the same time, another person started, but he started with 30 meters per second, constant average velocity, constant velocity and moved, they will reach at the same time. In uniform velocity, the initial velocity plus final velocity, average, if you take the average, it will be the same velocity, the same velocity if, you are, if the person had gone he would have reached, at the, reached the same at the same time. So this is true. Average velocity is equal to u plus v by 2 is true for uniform acceleration. You can feel it actually. Uniformly you are moving. You started from 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Instead of going like this, if you had gone by just 30 directly, it will take this, it will cover the same distance. It will cover the same distance. So, but average velocity formula we know is total distance total displacement or distance by total time, total time. So you have finally S by T is equal to U plus V by 2. This is the linking equation. So again I repeat the initial velocity and final velocity you can take the average. Average is U plus V by 2. S by T, S by T is the average velocity is equal to u plus v by 2. Now you will, will see the derivation of the equation. Now you can have a look here. S, S by t is equal to u plus v by 2. So you can cross multiply 2s is equal to ut plus instead of v 
we keep u plus 80. So t into u plus 80. I'm removing v if you notice. So you get 2s is equal to ut plus ut plus a t square. So I don't want to remove this 2. So I'll divide the whole by 2. Uh, so this divided by 2, 2, 2 and 2. So you get s is equal to 2 ut by 2 that is ut only plus half a t square we got the equation. And if we use this and this equation, we will get v square minus u square is equal to 2 a's. Like you substitute t here. v minus u by a if you substitute here, you will get remove t, you will get v square minus u square is equal to 2 a's. So you got second equation, third equation. Let us see the steps. Why is it important to know the derivation? If you don't know the derivation, you cannot do any problem, especially advanced problem like they give in top exams like IIT. You have to know the derivations. What is the derivation here? It's actually very simple. The only thing we have to understand is how the average velocity became u plus v by 2 in uniform acceleration. That you have to go by the intuition. See, Let's go by intuition. So average velocity is equal to u plus v by 2. S by t is equal to s by t u plus v by 2. This derivation is pretty straightforward. This is a simple mathematical derivation. From this comes this. So now we can put down all the equation in one place. So when a body goes in uniform acceleration, when a body goes in uniform acceleration, then there are relationships between when a body is in uniform acceleration, the initial velocity is u, the final velocity is v, the time is t, the displacement is s and the acceleration is a. So the first equation is v a is equal to v minus u by t. Second equation is s is equal to u t plus half a t square. And the third equation is v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s. So in this you do not have, you do not have s. In this you do not have v. In this you do not have this is the final answer. This is the core. You will see the applications of this throughout physics. In fact, if you are taking a technical career, you will see it in so many places. You use it to derive some. These are the powerful equations, but you must not see them as mathematical equations. You must see them as equations in physics. This is change in velocity. Here we got this by understanding that the average velocity is the average of the initial and final velocity. There was a link and here we got from these two equations, we got this mathematically. When you do problems, you will understand more deeply. When you put numbers, when you put numbers, I to give you examples, you will see totally clearly why these are true and how they work arithmetically. For now, we will stop here. Okay, so that we have now we have derived the three kinematic equations of uniform acceleration only. So now the whole of kinematics, we got these equations for uniform acceleration. And we have got another equation for average velocity and that is simply v average is equal to s by t. And for uniform velocity also, v uniform also it is s by t. This is total, total s by total time. Three equations, you can do any problem now. You can check it. You can take any advanced problem also. You will be able to easily apply your knowledge and do it. Thank you so much. This is Narendra Kumar from Narendra Academy.